Let's do this. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about trading pre-market and after hours on the Weibo platform. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you have been trading the market and you've heard the terms like pre-market and after hours, um, if it sounds strange to you, I'm going to explain it here real quick. So pre-market means that you can start trading uh, the stock market before the market actually opens at uh, 8 30 my time central time um, so you can start trading before that time so uh, different brokers will give you access to pre-market so on the Weibo platform pre-market starts at 3 a.m central time because that's my time zone so at 3 a.m when i get up you can start trading the market and then after hours means that as soon as the market closes at 3 p.m uh, central time you can still trade the, the, the market and Weibo gives you access from 3 uh, p.m. Central Time till 7 p.m. Central Time. So you can still trade after hours. Here's why trading pre-market and after hours is significant. So if you take like earnings calls, right? Um, a lot of companies uh, report their earnings before the market opens and a lot of companies report their earnings after the market closes. So if you are uh, you know, a trader and you want to trade a particular company, you know that that company, their earnings are going to be great uh, and the company you know, release their earnings before the market opens. If you have a platform that doesn't support uh, pre-market trading, and then you're going to have to wait until the market opens and you're going to be scrambling like every other person to try to pick up some shares and ride and get that you know that return but if you had access to pre-market let's say like on the Weibo platform and then you can buy before the market actually opens and so that people that don't have access to pre-market will be scrambling pushing the price up by the time they are looking to start making profit you are getting out of your positions and securing your profit which is excellent um, and if you go to after hours it's pretty much the same thing so you have a company Company that's going to report their earnings so let's say for instance like this past week Nike reported their earnings after hours and so your stock went up almost like $15 um, a share just after hours so if you don't have access to trading after hours you are screwed because you're never gonna get uh, that kind of an opportunity so you can wait after hours maybe even listen to the earnings call and then jump in and maybe buy and then ride that wave and sell but uh, trading pre-market and after hours has some uh, drawbacks. Uh, the first one to me that I see is that after hours or pre-market trading doesn't have a ton of volume. So you can actually buy a position and then go up and you're trying to sell and there's really um, nobody to buy because there's not a ton of volume going on. So, or you want to buy and there's really nothing. So you put in an order, it, it, it doesn't get filled because there's not a ton of volume during that period. So those are the two things that I don't really like about it. Um, but otherwise, uh, if you use the strategy properly, you can definitely benefit from trading pre-market and, and from trading after hours. So now I guess the question you're asking yourself is about Mr. V. So how do I do this on the Weibo platform? I'm glad you asked that question because I'm going to show you how to do it on the Weibo mobile app as well as um, the Weibo desktop app. So where do you find uh, the stocks that you can trade, um, let's say pre-market or after hours? Again, one of the strategies is looking at earnings calls so you can actually look at. Um, another one is just looking at stocks and looking at if there's some good news about that company coming up or um, again, you can just listen, um, see what's happening in, in the news space and go in and trade the stock. So once you log into your Weibo mobile app, um, you go on the market where it says market right here. So I have my watch list and they go on the market. So we go on the market. Notice that you have pre-market as you can see right here is selected. They have after hours you can click on. So uh, if I get up at say 3 a.m. my time, I click on pre-market, it would show me the stocks that are gapping. So look here, it says like in the middle column here, it says percentage change. And so the higher the percentage in this case, those are the ones that you know that is they're, they're moving, they're gapping, and then you can start looking at. But now I look at it, it's like, hey, pre-market, uh, yes, let's say CBAT, 
is gapping high. And it's like, okay, but why is this stock gapping? So I can click on the stock, I'll bring it up. Here's one of the things that I really love about the Weibo platform. So you scroll down a little bit on the niche here. So after quote, you have news. So I can click on that and I can go and read why this stock is gapping because Weibo provides that for me. So there's news right there. Um, so I can read it and see exactly why the stock is gapping. If there's some good news, assume that this was, uh, let's say this was Tesla and they talk about how Tesla has released a new product and then before the market opens, I'm aware of that. So now I'm like, this is exciting news. This is definitely gonna drive the price of the stock up. And then I'm gonna jump right in and let's say place my order and buy some few shares before every other person jumps in and do it. So again, for, for me, when I see a stock like this that I like, I can go up here, I say, okay, add that to my daily watch list click OK, it adds it to my daily watch list so I have access to be able to trade that. So let me back up here. So if I go now to my watch list, see I have CBAT right there that I can actually just trade. So that's how I build that list. But again, if you go here for pre-market, you can actually see it um, and just uh, get it. Uh, see, I usually look at like the top five here. I'll go through every single one and read the news. And then from time to time, you come back it, you, this, this list keeps updating because some of these stocks will show up, gap a little bit, and then pull back and, and disappear. So you have to be very careful um, while looking at this list. It's not like when this list show up, it's constant. It keeps changing, uh, keeps updating. But if the stock keeps gapping, that stock will stay number one on the list. Now, if you flip uh, when the market closes at, let's say, 3, in my case, again, 3 p.m. Central Time, now I want to switch over to after hours. So in that case, I'll go here and look at the stocks that are gapping after hours. I'll do the same thing. I'll go here and go to the news and I'll look at why that stock is gapping after hours. So I want to know why. There's got to be a reason for that stock to be gapping. So I'll read about the news. If it's an exciting news and then obviously I'll add that to my watch list and then see if I want to trade it or not. And at that point, if I think the news makes enough sense and the price looks good to me and I see there's an opportunity and then I will trade it. I will go in buy and then look to sell. So one of the other strategies that I've been leveraging right now after collecting data for a while is that um, after hours, the stocks that gap a lot after hours, the, moment, the momentum usually carries over into uh, pre-market. So let's say for instance, if I see after hours OXBR was gapping really high, and then I would want to check that stock very early in the morning. And so if I get up in the morning, I can see a spike in that stock. So I can get up and catch it before it spikes. And then usually um, the one thing personally that I don't, I don't do, I, I do it rarely, is that um, I don't take the stocks that I just buy on this list into the market. And here is why I, I mean, I can do it unless I'm very confident. I know I look at the news. I know this stock is going to gap as soon as the market opens. Otherwise, I trick them pre-market and after hours and I get out. Again, the list here, these are not stocks that I want to hold for a long time. These are not stocks that I'm putting in my portfolio. I'm simply just trading the momentum. They're gapping. I'm taking advantage of it, making a little profit and getting out. So why I don't take them into the market is that sometimes these stocks can gap here. You can make money pre-market. As soon as the market opens, it tanks. I've seen countless number of these stocks tank immediately the market opens. You're expecting them to go up they go down and never recover. So this is something that I want to share with you guys. Definitely be aware of. So again, that's the strategy. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this strategy, trading pre-market and after hours? Does your platform of choice actually allow you to trade pre-market or after hours? Um, I know Weibo does. Again, for me, Weibo pre-market is from 3 a.m. to uh, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And after hours is from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, you can trade within that period. So uh, that's it. So again, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to the desktop and show you guys how to actually trade or where to find this particular uh, information on the desktop. If you're somebody that trades on your desktop, 
definitely you can take advantage of it and I'm gonna switch over and show you where you can do that. So basically, once you log into uh, your Weibo desktop app, you go on the market, uh, and I've actually done another video showing you how to use this uh, free scanner on the Weibo platform. So go on the market, and then you can see extended hours um, to the left side here. Um, so this is these are extended hours stocks that are gapping, and then right here you can see these are um, uh, top gainers for that day. So extended hours here, um, if I click to bring open that, then you can see uh, where it shows you extended hours, which stocks gap after, after hours. Um, the only thing here is that um, extended hours on the desktop platform, um, it works for pre-market and works for, for uh, after hours. So when you says extended, it, it's taking um, into account pre-market and after hours. So if you click at this, let's say in the morning at 3 a.m., this extended hour list would be showing you pre-market gappers. And if you click on this after 3 p.m. Central Time, uh, this list would be showing you uh, uh, after hour gappers. So just something you know. So once you see a stock here that you like, and then you can go under um, trade and then click on trade and then your trading window would come up. Um, like in this case, you can you can actually go in and then um, put in the ticket symbol, just type the ticket symbol that you want here. So in this case, we can say CBAT. Um, if I like that one and I click on it, it brings it open so you can see what the stock did. Uh, look at the charts and see if it's something that you want to trade or not and then you know you can put in your order and go from there so that is what it looks like on the Weibo uh, desktop app. so as you can see guys trading the Weibo uh, pre-market and after hour is a really good way for you to kind of get ahead um, to kind of make some profit even before the market opens again like I said um, it comes with a little bit of disadvantage uh, especially on the Weibo platform number one is that the volume is not always there usually the volume is low which impacts uh, how much you buy and how much you sell because you can put an order to say I want to buy a thousand shares you only get filled maybe uh, three four hundred because that's what's available or uh, you can put an order that I want to sell a thousand shares then you only get filled maybe three or four hundred at that price um, and you know it, it, it gaps down or it goes up so that's something to, to worry about and also all the other bells and whistles that you use for day trading on the Weibo platform, I'm talking about stop losses and stuff like that. So um, again, we remember on the Weibo platform, if you before you input an order during uh, market hours, you can actually put your stop loss and your take profit. But those bracket orders, you don't have them in the extended hours on Weibo. So that's another disadvantage. So you have to do uh, kind of like a, a quasi stop loss so you can go in you buy the stock and then you create a sell order which you can move up and down with just a click of a mouse and, and move it to the position that you want to be able to sell it so that's um and this is some some of the issues that i see so let me know in the comment section what do you think about it do you trade pre-market do you trade after hours what's your experience what, what i mean like what's your statistics like do you think you'll be making a ton of money trading pre-market and after hours uh, again let me know in the comment section and uh, Weibo has uh, reintroduced you know yeah a program where you get two free stocks because at one point it went to giving just one but now if you sign up deposit a hundred dollars you get two free stocks i'm gonna put the links in the description below so definitely go check it out and as always guys stay motivated